inside of my nose my septum deteriorated completely this right here is hair because it came from the scalp so this is a, an entire flap of skin Fortunately, one day he did not wake up. So I've been in fucking pain for a very long time. And I just had a breakdown about it. About a year into our marriage, my husband got pancreatitis. He was in the hospital for four months. And about two months into coming home from the hospital, the doctors actually took the pain medicine from him, um, thinking that he was crutching on it. Fortunately, one day he did not wake up. And that day, I went into recovery. Um, I put everything away. I started a new life. I said I was going to do things right. And I felt like, you know what? I didn't. I didn't fuck this up, right? Like, I didn't die. I know that that sounds terrible, but my addict brain was like, you could still go out because you didn't, you didn't do anything wrong. There was like just one random week about five months after I stopped snorting um, that my nose started to collapse and I remember it specifically starting to change shape on the outside. It started to just kind of like dip down in the center. It was really weird and then like it kind of like pushed flat to my face. What's going on right here on my face is called a forehead flap. These things in my nose are called nasal trumpets. They go all the way up here. This right here is hair because it came from the scalp. So this is a, an entire flap of skin. Uh, no, I'll probably never feel the inside of my nose again. They had to make a blood supply into the tip of my nose from parts from my left arm. We're in the bathroom, you know why? We're gonna shave my nose. Are you excited? I'm excited. Uh, wish me luck. Here we go. I'm wondering if my eyebrows always gonna look like I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Just on the one side. What do you do as far as like supporting an addict uh, in their recovery? Um, the only thing you can really do is just be empathetic with them, find out, you know, if there might be some deeper trauma, something that you can help them with, ask why they don't be accusatory, don't try to force them into to doing anything that they don't want to do, um, because you will push them away, and uh, chances are you will lose them uh, in their recovery journey, so...
to the point where little by little it started deteriorating my septum to where I no longer had a septum and my nose was completely flat. causes the blood vessels to constrict and it pushes all the blood and oxygen out of the nose. Um, when that happens repeatedly over many, many um, episodes, you get an area of the septum that is basically strangulated from all of its blood supply. So that cartilage has no ability to get oxygen or nutrients.